Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is the Reluctant Gringo back again with another video. Oftentimes movies are so good, the characters and stories so compelling, and their releases so profitable that a sequel is a no-brainer. This is never more evident than within the horror genre. Today I'm going to give you my top 10 list of horror sequels that you must watch after seeing the original. One caveat, I am sticking to true sequels. Those that are considered the next installment in a franchise after the original, so no part 3s or 4s or beyond. As always, this is my list and I love to hear your opinion, so leave it in the comments section below. With that, let's begin. Number 10. Hellbound. Hellraiser 2. This 1988 horror film directed by Tony Randall serves as a sequel to Clive Barker's Hellraiser. The movie begins immediately after the events of the first Hellraiser. Kirsty Cotton, the sole survivor of the previous film, is taken to a psychiatric hospital due to her traumatic experience with the Cenobites, otherworldly beings being led by the iconic Pinhead. Dr. Chenard, a twisted psychiatrist, becomes obsessed with the Lament Configuration Puzzle Box, a gateway to the Cenobite dimension. He seeks to unlock its secrets and experiences disturbing hallucinations. Meanwhile, Kirsty befriends another patient, Tiffany, who has a unique talent for solving puzzles. Together, they discover that the hospital is a hotbed of supernatural activity. Kirsty also learns that her stepmother, Julia, who was killed in the first film, may still be alive in the hellish realm, and she wants to rescue her. As Dr. Chenard's obsession deepens, he unleashes horrifying Cenobite creatures by using his patients as sacrificial victims, leading to a gruesome and surreal descent into the Cenobite dimension. Kirsty and Tiffany venture into this dark realm to confront the Cenobites and rescue Julia. The film is known for its gruesome and visually stunning depiction of the Cenobite dimension. It explores themes of desire, pain, and consequences of pursuing forbidden knowledge. The movie ultimately culminates in a thrilling showdown between Kirsty, Tiffany, Julia, and the Cenobites. Hellraiser 2 is known for its grotesque and surreal imagery, as well as its exploration of the blurred lines between pleasure and pain. It's a must-watch for fans of the Hellraiser franchise and those who enjoy dark and macabre storytelling. Number 9. Child's Play 2 this 1990 horror sequel directed by John LaFia is part of the popular Chucky franchise. The movie picks up two years after the events of the original Child's Play, Andy Barclay, the young boy who previously encountered the murderous Chucky doll, has been placed in foster care due to the trauma he experienced. His mother Karen is committed to a psychiatric hospital after the authorities refuse to believe her claims about the evil possessed doll. Meanwhile, the toy company that manufactured the original Good Guys doll decides to rebuild Chucky as a part of their marketing campaign. They reassemble Chucky's remains on knowingly bringing the malevolent spirit of Charles Lee Ray, a serial killer, back into possession of the doll's body. Chucky's goal is to transfer his soul into Andy's body to escape his doll form. Andy is placed with a new foster family, the Simpsons, and Chucky tracks him down, leaving a trail of murder and chaos in his wake. Chucky becomes increasingly determined to possess Andy, leading to a terrifying game of cat and mouse within the Simpson household. The film builds on a suspense and dark humor that made the original a cult classic. Chucky's malevolent and wisecracking personality shines through as he wreaks havoc, leaving the adults around him suspicious but often too late to stop his murderous plans. Child's Play 2 is a thrilling continuation of the Chucky saga, known for its mix of horror and dark humor, and it solidified Chucky as one of the iconic horror villains of the 1990s. The film keeps viewers on edge with suspenseful scenes and gruesome killings, as it follows Andy's struggle to survive Chucky's relentless pursuit. Number 8. Psycho 2 This 1983 psychological horror film directed by Richard Franklin and serving as a sequel to Alfred Hitchcock's classic Psycho continues the story of Norman Bates, who has spent the last 22 years in a mental institution after the events of the original film. Now deemed sane and released back into society, Norman returns to the Bates Motel, which has been under the care of a new manager, and meets a woman named Mary Loomis. As Norman tries to rebuild his life, strange occurrences and mysterious notes begin to surface, seemingly indicating that Mother, Norman's alter ego, might be making a return. Norman himself becomes unsure of his own sanity and starts questioning his grip on reality, haunted by the past. A series of murders occurs at the motel and Norman becomes the prime suspect, further fueling doubts about his mental state. The film skillfully plays with the audience's perception, making it unclear whether Norman is truly responsible for the crimes or if he's being manipulated by external forces. As the tension escalates, the film delves into the psychological torment Norman experiences, with the audience left in suspense about the true identity of the killer. In a climactic and chilling twist, the real culprits are revealed, and the legacy of the original Psycho is hauntingly preserved. Psycho 2 is a worthy sequel to the Hitchcock classic, skillfully combining suspense and psychological horror. It explores the theme of whether a person can truly overcome their dark past, and offers a fresh perspective on the character of Norman Bates, played brilliantly once again by Anthony Perkins. Number 7. Phantasm 2 the 1988 follow-up to the cult classic Phantasm, the story continues to follow Mike Pearson, a young man who, in the first film, confronted the enigmatic tall man and the malevolent flying spheres that steal the souls of the dead. 
In a sequel, Mike is released from a mental institution and is determined to prove the existence of the tall man who continues his reign of terror. Teaming up with Reggie, a loyal friend and former ice cream vendor, they set out to destroy the tall man and put an end to his sinister plans. Their journey takes them through eerie and otherworldly landscapes filled with graveyards, bizarre creatures, and the iconic silver spheres. The movie maintains the dreamlike and surreal atmosphere that's characteristic of the franchise, blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. As Mike and Reggie pursue the tall man, they uncover shocking truths about his origin and the sinister nature of his dimension. The battle against the tall man escalates, leading to intense and otherworldly confrontations. Phantasm 2 is known for the imaginative horror elements as well as the iconic tall man, played by Angus Scrimm. The film continues to explore themes of mortality, the afterlife, and the unknown while delivering a mix of atmospheric horror and action. It's a must-watch for fans of the Phantasm series and those who appreciate unique and unconventional horror storytelling. Number 6. Doctor Sleep this 2019 horror film directed by Mike Flanagan serves as a sequel to Stephen King's The Shining. Dr. Sleep follows a grown-up Danny Torrance who as a child survived the terrifying events at the Overlook Hotel. Traumatized and plagued by his psychic abilities, Danny struggles with alcoholism which he uses to suppress his powers and the traumatic memories. He eventually finds sobriety and settles in a New Hampshire town where he gets a job at a hospice, earning him the nickname Dr. Sleep for his ability to provide comfort to dying patients using his psychic gifts. Meanwhile, a sinister group of supernatural beings known as the True Knot, led by Rose the Hat, feed on the psychic essence of children with the Shining to prolong their own lives. To become aware of a young girl named Abra who possesses a powerful Shining ability, and they seek to capture her. Danny and Abra connect telepathically, and he resolves to become her protector. Together, they confront the True Knot in a psychic battle of good versus evil, leading to a climactic showdown at the now-abandoned Overlook Hotel. The film skillfully blends elements of Stephen King's novel Doctor Sleep with Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining. It explores themes of addiction, psychic power, and the lingering traumas of childhood. Doctor Sleep is both a tribute to King's original work and a continuation of the story. It offers a unique blend of psychological horror, supernatural elements, and character-driven storytelling, making it a compelling and atmospheric follow-up to one of the most iconic horror stories ever, The Shining. Number 5. Bride of Frankenstein this classic 1935 horror film, directed by James Whale, is a sequel to the 1931 film Frankenstein and continues the story of the tormented scientist Dr. Henry Frankenstein and its monstrous creation. The film begins with a prologue in which Mary Shelley, the author of the original Frankenstein novel, discusses the continuation of her story. She describes how the monster survived the windmill fire at the end of the first film. Dr. Frankenstein is believed to have perished in the windmill fire, but he has also secretly survived and is recovering from his injuries. He is tempted by the idea of creating a mate for his monster to prevent him from becoming lonely and dangerous. In the meantime, the monster, often misunderstood and persecuted, encounters a blind hermit who befriends him, teaching him basic language and kindness. However, their peaceful existence is disrupted when two villagers discover the monster's existence and lead an angry mob to attack him. Dr. Frankenstein, with the assistance of the sinister Dr. Pretorius, creates a new female companion for the monster. This bride is brought to life in a spectacular and iconic scene. Ultimately, the bride is horrified by the sight of the monster, leading to a tragic and explosive climax as she rejects him and the film concludes on a somber note. Bride of Frankenstein is considered a classic of the horror genre known for its gothic atmosphere, iconic character designs, and exploration of themes like the consequences of playing God and the loneliness of the misunderstood. It's celebrated for its blend of horror and dark humor and remains a milestone in the history of cinema. Number four, The Conjuring 2. This 2016 horror film directed by James Wan, The Conjuring 2 is the second installment in the popular Conjuring franchise, based on the real-life investigations of paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. The movie is set in 1977 and centers on the famous Enfield poltergeist case in England. The Warrens are called to London to help the Hodgson family, who are experiencing terrifying and unexplained supernatural events in their Enfield home. Single mother Peggy and her four children are tormented by a malevolent entity, which primarily targets her youngest daughter, Janet. As the Warrens investigate, they witness numerous paranormal occurrences, including levitating furniture, strange voices, and visions. Janet seems to be the focal point of the haunting as she becomes possessed by the spirit of an elderly man who died in the house. Lorraine Warren struggles with her own psychic abilities and disturbing visions of a demonic nun that haunts her. The Warrens are determined to help the Hodgson family, but they must also confront their own fears and the growing threat of a powerful demonic presence. The film builds suspense as the Warrens work to uncover the truth behind a malevolent entity and its connection to the Hodgson family. It culminates in a harrowing showdown where the Warrens must confront the nun and protect the family from the forces of darkness. The Conjuring 2 is known for its effective scares, strong performances, and its ability to ratchet up the tension. It delves into the personal and professional struggles of the Warrens while delivering a chilling and supernatural horror story that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. 
Number three, Friday the 13th, part two. This 1981 slasher film directed by Steve Miner is a sequel to the original Friday the 13th. It begins with a recap of the previous film's events, particularly the final showdown where Alice kills Mrs. Voorhees. Several years later, a new group of young counselors arrives at the training center near Camp Crystal Lake. Unaware of the gruesome history of the area, the counselors plan to reopen the camp and begin preparations. However, a mysterious and vengeful killer lurks nearby, donning a sack over their head as a makeshift mask. We all know this to be now the adult son of Mrs. Voorhees, Jason. He starts targeting the counselors one by one in a series of gruesome murders. The film continues the tradition of creative and gory kills that the franchise is known for, using a variety of weapons and tactics to dispatch the victims. Ginny, one of the counselors, becomes the film's final girl, and she realizes the danger they are in as she uncovers the truth about the killer's identity. The climax takes place at an old cabin, where Ginny and Jason have a tense and deadly confrontation. In a chilling final moment, the film teases the return of Jason Voorhees, who would become the iconic killer of the franchise in subsequent films. Friday the 13th Part 2 is a classic slasher film known for its formula of teenagers in peril, creative kills, and the introduction of Jason Voorhees as the primary antagonist. It helps solidify the Friday the 13th franchise as a cornerstone of the slasher horror genre. Number 2, Scream 2. The 1997 horror sequel directed by Wes Craven picks up two years after the events of the first film. Sidney Prescott is now a college student at Windsor College trying to move on from the trauma of the original Scream. However, her life takes a dark turn when a new series of murders begins, mimicking the events of the first film. As the ghost-faced killer returns, the campus is thrown into chaos. Sydney reunites with her surviving friends Randy and Dewey, and they must once again navigate a terrifying game of survival. The film introduces a new cast of characters, including Sydney's boyfriend Derek and her roommate Hallie, and a film studies classmate Mickey. The movie explores the themes of sequels, horror movies, and their impact on society, often with a metatextual and self-aware approach, mirroring the original film style. As the body count rises, the characters grapple with the mystery of this new ghost face, while the media sensationalizes the killings. Scream 2 keeps audiences guessing about the killer's identity and motivations with numerous suspects and twists. The final confrontation is filled with suspense and reveals the identity of this new ghost face in a way that connects this film to the legacy of the first. Scream 2 is known for its clever and self-referential approach to the horror genre, effectively combining scares with humor and comedy commentary on the nature of recycling narratives and their influence on popular culture. It's a worthy follow-up to the original and remains a favorite among fans of the Scream franchise. Number 1. Aliens Well that's great! That's just fucking great man! Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? Where's the real pretty shit now man? You finished. That's it man. Game over man. It's game over. This 1986 science fiction action horror film directed by James Cameron is the sequel to Ridley Scott's 1979 film, Alien. It picks up 57 years after the events of the first movie. Ellen Ripley, the sole survivor of the Nostromo spaceship's encounter with a deadly xenomorph, is discovered drifting through space in cryosleep. She awakens to find that the planet where her crew encountered the alien creature is now a thriving colony. Ripley is reluctantly convinced to return to the planet with a team of colonial marines to investigate the sudden loss of contact with the colony. She's haunted by her past trauma and the fear of encountering the xenomorphs once again. The team is led by the tough but inexperienced Lieutenant Gorman. Upon arrival, they discover the colony in ruins, with the xenomorphs having decimated the population. The lone survivor is a young girl named Newt, and the film escalates into a relentless battle for survival as the Marines and Ripley face off against the terrifying xenomorphs, who have multiplied and evolved. The action is intense and suspenseful, with the iconic alien queen making her debut. Ripley becomes a maternal figure for Newt, and their bond adds emotional depth to the film. Ripley's transformation from a traumatized survivor to a fearless warrior is a central theme. Aliens is known for its groundbreaking special effects, strong performances, and the combination of science fiction and horror elements. It's a high-octane roller coaster ride that masterfully blends action and terror while expanding the mythology of the Alien franchise. The film is not only considered a classic of the genre, but a seminal work in James Cameron its legendary filmography. And that's my list. What do you think? If you enjoyed this video and want more horror content, check out my other top 10 list by clicking on the thumbnails or subscribing to my channel. I thank you for watching and from south of the border, I am your reluctant gringo. Salute and Hawevo.